us now is Dr. Ido Schoenberg. He's CEO and chairman of Amwell. It's great to have you here. And uh, why now the timing for this IPO? It's great to be with you, Kelly. Um, basically, we, as you know, started the company about 15 years ago. And we were set to develop a pretty ambitious uh, goal, which is to connect the key players in healthcare namely providers, payers, uh, consumer aggregators, and innovators, in order to improve uh, financial and clinical outcomes in way of connectivity. Um, that uh, very long uh, mission requires enormous amount of time and uh, capital. Uh, we believe that by uh, going public today, we will be able to basically uh, get the resources that we need in order to grow both organically and inorganically in a way that aligns our shareholders with our mission. Yeah. Uh, as you probably know, we grew the company with many strategic uh, partners for many years. And if you think about it, while they've been terrific, uh, one of the great benefits of uh, going public is making sure that the only thing our shareholders, uh, new shareholders care about is the success of the company and the realization of our mission and therefore, it made it made a lot of sense. Sure. So you also, of, of course, are facing Teladoc, which has had a big year and just did this merger with Livongo to increase its size and scale. So let's talk about your size and scale. It's pretty amazing uh, to take the month of April. Your pandemic or your visits uh, were up to 40,000 a day from 2,900 for the same period in 2019. So just explosive growth. More than half of your total visits, I, I believe, since your founding occurred in the past six months. So how do you take this momentum and keep it going, you know, especially for people who probably think they're just doing this as a one or a one-off, something like that, and then it's going to be back to business as usual? Yeah, like many things in life, nothing is as good or as bad as it seems. There is very little good about COVID. It's a terrible pandemic. COVID forced a lot of people to be locked in their home. And since they had no choice, they tried uh, telehealth uh, for the first time. When I say people, I, of course, mean patients, but I also mean doctors. So, so many doctors try telehealth uh, for the first time. We have connectivity means to connect with their trusting uh, patients. And we knew for many years that when they actually do that, they usually like it. And that's very, uh, very important. Uh, we're already beginning to see that when uh, people get used to the new normal, uh, if anyone can get used to it to a certain point, and hopefully that will be over uh, as soon as uh, possible, they do want to wear a mask and see the doctor in person uh, whenever possible. So this uh, giant uh, surge in visits uh, may not be uh, continuing uh, in the same pace, and we fairly expect it to go down uh, for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But as I mentioned earlier, our goal is not to count visits. And other uh, telehealth companies uh, use it as their main uh, KPI. Uh, our main uh, uh, performance indicator is the number of active providers uh, on our platform. Mm. We simply mm -hmm. believe that in the future, uh, uh, your doctor uh, will connect with you sometimes in person and sometimes online. And it's not, no big deal. It's easy to explain the need. Of course, it's a different story to actually implement it. There are many barriers and complexities, which is what we do. Um, and that will take a, a long time. Yeah. Uh, the good news, however, is that uh, we see other changes in COVID that we believe will be very strong uh, uh, tailwind uh, for the implementation of digital connectivity, starting with reimbursement. Mm -hmm. So the fact that uh, CMS is growingly reimbursing uh, telehealth, we see more and more payment in parity, which of course should be uh, the method of, of paying doctor fairly for their time. There is no real difference if I meet my patient online uh, or in office in way of uh, the uh, compensation uh, I deserve uh, as a doctor. That's very conducive uh, to the model that we have uh, created. Yeah. Uh, our goal is uh, simply to allow our parents, our grandparents, maybe ourselves, uh, to age gracefully in our home and allow us to uh, connect to the existing healthcare system uh, whenever uh, possible. Yeah. So it's not the dock in the box in the cloud. It's basically another tool in the tool set of uh, our trusting uh, providers. And that will take years uh, to develop. Yeah. Uh, we are patient enough to build the platform that will enable that enormous transformation.